Welcome back design students. In this video we're going to continue working on our wine glass scene here. We're going to make some uh, liquid to put inside the glass. Then we're going to apply materials to it and work on making it look like a glass with some red wine in it. But before we get started I wanted to point out a couple of things to you about my workspace here. You may have noticed that I have this bright blue line denoting my origin axes. I changed the setting for this to make it more visible to me because the darker gray line was a little hard for me to see in some situations. I also have some statistics up here that help me to, uh, in particular, to see when I have vertices that are not welded. For example, if I select this and go to vertex mode, if I go like this, then it should say 2 because there's one directly behind that one. If it says something other than 2, then I'll know that I have unwelded vertices there. And if I do have unwelded vertices there, after I shift, right click, and merge them, it should say two. If it doesn't, then I know I need to do something else. So to turn these two things on, if you want to, you can go to Display, Grid, and bring up the Grid options. And right here is where you change the color of the grid axis. The main axis, you can just drag the slider until you get a color you like. And you can also change uh, the size of the grid if you want. I wouldn't do this unless you really need to. But um, this is where you change that. And to get these statistics here, display as well, heads up display, and you turn on poly count. Notice if I turn it off, it goes away. Okay, so let's work on this liquid for this wine glass. We need to have some polygons inside the glass that will act or serve as our liquid. So I'm going to switch to face mode and I'm going to grab these central polygons here. And then I'm going to grow my selection. Now to grow your selection, you can use shift greater than sign like so. And I'm going to grow it up to um, probably about there. And you can also subtract from your selection by holding shift less than, but notice that it subtracts now from the middle. And we don't really want to do that because we'll miss that middle part. So let's do that again. Shift greater than. Maybe one more. And now that we have that done, I'm going to uh, switch to wireframe so I can see inside my glass, like so. And you can clearly see that I have these polygons selected. All right, so we're going to duplicate these polygons and use them as a mesh to represent our liquid inside the glass. So to do that, we shift, right click, and select Duplicate Face. And when we do, you'll see that we get some settings here. We can give it a little offset. That means we can pull it away from the inside of the glass if we want to. But that's obviously way too much. I might give it 0.05. And to check and see if that's too much, I'm going to zoom in here. That seems like still too much, so I'm going to give it 0.02. That's a little better. And once we're done with that, we just select the select tool and we now have a new object inside of here that consists of the faces we duplicated. Now sometimes your new object will appear here as a group with your wine glass. Uh, this time apparently mine has not done that so I'm going to need to switch to object mode, select my glass, and then I'm going to need to go to mesh, separate because somehow they're attached. And as you can see here, now I have the inside and the outside. So I'm going to select this new piece that I created and double click and name it liquid. And then I'm going to hide everything else in the scene by going to um, display, hide, unselected. So now I have this object isolated, I can work on it. So now I'm going to switch to shaded mode and then you can clearly see that it's turned inside out. So we're going to flip the normals. I'm going to hold down Shift. I'm going to switch to Face Mode. Select all the faces. Shift, right click, Face Normals, Reverse Normals. So now they're facing outward. 
Now we need to deal with this hole in the top, and we also have a hole in the bottom. That's a result of the little bit of offset we gave it. So I'm going to, um, sorry, switch to edge mode, double click that top edge, and I'm going to get my scale tool. I'm going to hold down shift and scale inward to extrude some faces inward. It's still in smooth mode, so I'm going to press 1. Then I'm going to do it again, just a little bit. And again, just a little bit. I'm going to use these three edges in just a minute. And then I'm going to do it one more time, all the way to the middle. And then I'm going to shift, right click, merge edges, merge to center. And that collapses them into the center. Down here, I'm going to switch to edge mode. Double click that edge, shift, right click, and merge to center. Now what we're going to use these three edges for is to create what's called the meniscus, which is when liquid clings to the side of a glass, just a little bit. So I'm going to switch to edge mode, double click this outer edge, and expand it outward so it's close to the edge here. I'm going to do the same with this one. I just wanted them to be closer together. And then I'm going to uh, double click this first one and then hold down shift and double click all three of these and then I'm going to switch to wireframe mode switch to my move tool and move them down a little bit and then I'm going to control double click this one to deselect it and move down a little bit control double click and move down a little bit more so now we have our meniscus. Then we're going to switch to smooth mode. And you can clearly see that we have some collapsing happening here. So we're going to put a couple of control loops on here with the multi-cut tool. I'm going to hold down control and put one right up at the very top here. And then I think I'm going to put one down at the bottom. So that's how you create the liquid inside your glass. And when we come back in the next video, we're going to put some materials and lighting on this to make it look like a glass filled with red liquid. And I'll see you in the next video.